ATC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome back to the weekend. Unfortunately, a sloppy start to the weekend. Then it's going to finish off on a little bit of a winter chill for Sunday. Clouds sticking around all weekend long and we got that threat of heavy rain tomorrow. Even a marginal risk of severe weather and we'll delineate that in just a bit. You can see on the regional Doppler radar and a satellite imagery, lots of rainfall across Texas this afternoon associated with an upper level system that is well to the west that won't clear our area until after Sunday. That's why the clouds stay locked in. Flood watch is in effect for much of the Texas coastal plain, almost all of Louisiana, with the exception of northeast Louisiana, and they continue over toward the Florida panhandle as well. Zooming on in for Acadiana, our flood watch primarily for the morning hours through early Saturday afternoon. And I think the heaviest rains come in uh, southwest Louisiana around 5, 6 o'clock in the morning and then progress off to the east. And the heaviest rain totals will be in Texas, isolated amounts amounts five to six inches plus most of Acadia is going to catch one to two maybe one to three isolated spots could catch up to three to five and that's why a flood watch has been posted and at least two to four as you get into southeast Louisiana as well. So here we go with predictive radar indicating the, the heavy duty rain and storm stay mostly in Texas through 10 o'clock tonight but some activity begins to edge into southwest Louisiana where we'll see locally heavy downpours Lake Charles, Carlos, Vinton and then perhaps up through uh, Beauregard and Vernon parishes and that action continues uh, right along the Texas coast southwest Louisiana with the heavier rains uh, beginning to reach Lafayette. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of rain until we get closer to daybreak as we get into the central portions of Acadiana. Here we are at 7 o'clock in the morning. Rain and storms moving across the area with the heaviest action, uh, primarily mid-morning hours. And this is as far as the, uh, the uh, predictive radar model will take us. We'll have better looks at that coming up tonight at 10. But on the surface map, here's the latest future cast with low pressure kind of dancing along the Louisiana coastline producing locally heavy downpours and perhaps the threat of severe weather right along the coast uh, early to mid tomorrow morning and then the mess beginning to move off to the east and in its wake we'll see misty drizzles more than likely and breezy and cooler air moving in for tomorrow night as temperatures head below 40 and stay in the 40s through Sunday morning and much of the day Sunday and there's going to be a little bit of a wind chill factor so a winter like day Sunday we don't see the sun come back out until Monday. As for rainfall totals. The model's backing off a little bit for Acadiana. Here's the European model. Still a stripe of three to five Texas into western Louisiana, but most of Acadiana, I think one to two, one to three looks to be a good call, but we could see isolated higher amounts. We'll watch the predictive radar trends later on tonight. Latest RPM model has that one to two solid, but notice as you get into western sections of Acadiana, you're pushing two to three once we get in this red zone. So look for some localized runoff issues, some street flooding perhaps, some some ponding on the roadways and maybe some water accumulating on low lying areas. But due to the progressive nature of the storm, I'm not expecting widespread flooding. But as we take a look at this, this is interesting. This is just coming in. Uh, this is the HRRR model, also known as our predictive radar model, indicating there is going to be some helicity, which is a tornado spin potential. Uh, so maybe an isolated severe storm that could produce damaging winds and or an isolated tornado. So that's why the Storm Prediction Center has us hatched in for a marginal risk of severe weather, so something that we'll keep an eye on. As you look at temperatures, mild tonight in the mid 60s through tomorrow morning, but dropping into the 50s by tomorrow afternoon and into the 40s tomorrow night through Sunday morning, and there's going to be a wind chill factor Sunday morning as well. So breezy and mild with rain and storms developing from west to east overnight tonight at 80%. Tomorrow, 100% chance of storms. Prime time is going to be the morning hour activity tails off in the afternoon. So if you're going to get out and vote or whatever you have planned tomorrow, the afternoon hours will be better. So everybody you can sleep in tomorrow morning, one to two inches likely three to five possible across the area and then cloudy cool Sunday clears out early next week with a light frost or freeze possible by Tuesday morning. Ooh, all right. Okay, Langston and Gavin, Mr. Rob said sleep in tomorrow. <laughs>